Today, let's talk about liberal transfusion in anemic myocardial infraction cases shows favorable results. In MINT study, in patients with myocardial infraction and anemia, a liberal red blood cell transfusion strategy significantly reduced the risk of recurrent myocardial infraction or death within 30 days compared with a restrictive transfusion strategy in the 3,500 patient MINT trial. A liberal transfusion strategy may be the most prudent approach to transfusion in anemic patients with myocardial infraction. The study cannot claim that a liberal transfusion strategy is definitively superior based on the primary outcome, but the 95% confidence interval is consistent with treatment effects corresponding to no difference between the two transfusion strategies and to a clinically relevant benefit with the liberal strategy. The number needed to treat was 40 to see a benefit in the combined outcome of death or recurrent myocardial infraction at 30 days. The p-value for this was 0.07, right on the edge of statistical significance. In contrast to other trials in other settings, such as anemia and cardiac surgery, the results suggest that a liberal transfusion strategy has the potential for clinical benefit with an acceptable risk of harm. While not statistically significant, the results consistently favored a liberal transfusion strategy.